Okay, um, welcome to, uh, I don't know what part we're on. We're, we're, we're on a part. <clears throat> we just finished painting the left side. Um, should have told you at the end of the other. We're going to go ahead and file, save as, and uh, go ahead and save this as left KLM right there. Hit save, and you want to overwrite, which you won't have to overwrite, but I do because I wasted time, remember. Anyways. We're going to leave this open. We're going to go open, and we're going to open the right side of the fuselage. Again, using the correct door configuration. Uh, it is, as you see, flipped to the right to allow it to align with the actual aircraft textures. What we're going to do to paste our stuff over seamlessly is uh, <clears throat> we're going to go to image, image rotation, and we're going to flip the canvas. Make sure you're not flipping, make sure you're not doing uh, edit transform flip because all that's going to do is flip whatever label or layer that you're on. We're going to flip the entire canvas horizontally. So do that and there you go. So now it's pointing in the same direction as the left texture is. So we're going to put it down to uh, paint here because this is where we're going to start throwing stuff over. Neat trick here. Let me how to do this. What we're going to do is um, uh, basically start with our paint here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different layers worth of paint. Uh, that's everything, all of our logos and things like that. So all you do, uh, start at the base here, right click on it. We're going to duplicate this layer. And right here where it says destination for document, we already have it open click the drop down we're gonna put it in the right Photoshop file and then hit OK click over looky there mm. it's a thing of beauty so we'll just repeat this for the rest of your textures right duplicate right OK duplicate right and uh, just do this for every one of them This is way better than uh, trying to do it like I showed you to do it in the tutorial. Sorry for that. But uh, I was learning. I'm always learning new things. Also, the cool thing about duplicating it is you keep all your overlays and effects. You don't lose anything. And it also, if you had it set to multiply or, you know, lowered the uh, feel of it or anything, it'll keep that as well. So it's a pretty cool little tool doing the duplicate. Okay, see? Everything's aligned perfectly, just like it would be been with the left side. It just drops it right into place. Um, we can even actually... If you don't want to sit there and go through and fix your windows, you can duplicate the windows from the left side to the right. But uh, I'll fix those later. Yeah, I mean, I've already showed you how to do it. I also showed you how to do your uh, doors and uh, morning labels also. So uh, you can go through and do that, you know, for extra practice, whatever. Um, but for the sake of time, there's that word again. I hate saying that. I do apologize. I say it all the time. But for the sake of time, I am going to uh, just duplicate these layers because uh, you know we got to get this done. Just remember when you're duplicating something from one side, from the left to the right to another document, make sure you are in the right spot on layers because wherever you are, when you duplicate it, it's going to put it right there where you're at. So if I had door base selected, and I duplicated a KLM logo, it would go in between door base and doors. So, always start at the base if you're putting your paint stuff over. Um, anyways, door base, or excuse me, doors. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to duplicate this because I'm going to duplicate it. When you get this uh, paint kit, it won't be messed up like this. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and uh, do a, uh, oops, not stroke, color overlay, make it white. The only reason it's, I say that it's goofed up is because uh, 
I accidentally included the uh, rain gutters in with the door base. So. What we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to erase these white uh, ring. Erase the uh, white ring gutters. And. These are selection sound effects. Hit delete. Goodbye. Good. So that's done. Uh, we'll go ahead and go here. Her. And I'm going to do my white labels because we don't have a white labels over here. Underneath door details, I'm going to duplicate white labels. Duplicate over to the right side. Goodbye. White labels. Good. Our doors have white labels now. See, in uh, only a matter of seconds, we have painted the right side of the aircraft. It's tons, tons faster to do it that way. So uh, now that we got all of our stuff over, and we're happy we're pointing in the right direction because we're done with it. Image rotation, flip horizontal. Now um, you will see everything is mirrored, you know, text-wise. And uh, that's the good thing about leaving it layered like we did. So we can easily just go back. What was that one? What was layer one? Oh, hey, there it is. Um, if we're just going to flip individual things like flags or not flags, but just logos themselves, select that layer, edit, transform, flip horizontal, see, and it only flips that layer. Whereas opposed, if you do canvas, it does the whole thing. Remember. Uh, So, what we're doing here, oh, that's our Sky Team logo. See what I do, with, you know, you, I told you earlier why I do the uh, registration. Ah, here's a good example here. Uh, all the text on the bottom, I made one layer because I'm not smart. So, uh, if that is the case, if you have more than one thing that is layer, even the Boeing 767, just zoom in on it. And uh, what you're going to do is you make a selection around it. Make sure your selection goes an equal distance on the left and right when you do this. And then you go to Edit, Transform, Horizontal. And it'll only change that part within the selection. Control D to deselect. Uh, the reason I say make sure your distance is the same on either side, because however far it's off on either side, it will um, uh, shift it. So I'm going to end it here and answer the phone, and uh, I'll pick you up on the next one.